Oasis Audio presents Peony by Pearl S. Buck. Read for you by Kirsten Potter. Chapter One It was spring in the city of Kaifeng, a late spring in the northern Chinese province of Honan. Behind the high city walls, the peach trees planted in courtyards bloomed earlier than they did upon the farms spreading over the level plains around the moat. Yet even in such shelter, the peach blossoms were still only rosy buds at Passover. Within the courts of the house of Ezra ben Israel, the peach blossoms had been cut several days early and had been forced to bloom in time for the feast. Each spring, Peony, the Chinese bond maid, made it her task to provide thus for the branches of flowers that stood against the walls of the great hall. Each year, Ezra, her master, and Madame Ezra, her mistress, took notice of what she had done. Knowing how cold the spring had been this year and how long the dusty northwest winds had blown upon the city, they had given her special praise when they entered the great hall this night for the feast. See what magic our little peony has wrought this Passover, Ezra had said, his plump hand gesturing toward the flowers. Madame Ezra had paused to admire. Her impetuous look grew kind. Very pretty, my child, she had said to Peony. Peony had remained properly silent, her small hands folded above her flowing sleeves. David's eyes she met and avoided as he smiled, but Leah's warm smile she accepted, answering it with a small quiver of her lips. The old rabbi had given no sign. He was blind, and so he saw nothing. As for Aaron, his son... Peony did not look at him. They took their seats at the ample round table that had been placed in the middle of the hall, and Peony began to direct the serving of the food in her noiseless, graceful fashion. Four men servants obeyed her, and Wang Ma, the elder woman servant, poured the tea. As long as she could remember, Peony had watched this evening feast in early spring in the house of Ezra. She had directed the placing of every dish and utensil upon the table, and the servants had obeyed her because she knew, as well as though she had been a daughter in the house, exactly where each dish was to be found and each placed. The dishes were kept the year round, unused except for this night before Passover. The silver spoons and chopsticks, the great seven-branched candlesticks, all were shining in the light of the lanterns hung from the high red beams. Upon a vast silver tray, she herself had placed the symbols she did not understand, but which each year she prepared. A roasted egg, bitter herbs, apples, nuts, and wine. They were curiosities of a foreign religion. But the whole day was a strange one in this unheeding Chinese city. Although Peony knew the rites well, each spring she wondered at them again. The search through the house for bits of leavened bread... Ezra, the master, had made the search this morning, as he always did, laughing as he went carelessly from spot to spot, and asking her if that were all. Madame Ezra used always to hide the bits of leavened bread for him to find, but now for several years she had let Peony do it, and Ezra had commanded her to count the bits so that he would know when he was finished. He made a joke of it, as though he were somewhat ashamed before the servants, when Peony and David were children, they had laughed immoderately at the search and had joined in it with merriment, pointing out each crumb of the forbidden bread. But then she had not known that she was only a bondmaid. Now she knew.